17 years and five kids, you'd think there wouldn't be anything else to learn. I think finally got to the bottom of a, a disagreement we've had between <laughs> ourselves for the better part of 17 years. Yes. I was a little reticent about the whole concept of the military trying to teach me how to be better at my home life. <laughs> But the, uh, the people that they have put in charge of this, the teachers that they've provided, and the material that they've gone to great expense to bring to me, um, I found to be very valuable and, and a wonderful tool that'll make my next appointment, which is inevitable, uh, that much better. Our Strong Bonds Marriage and Enrichment Retreats primarily um, focus on uh, how we can help couples uh, learn better communication techniques and skills, make them aware of some of the uh, issues that couples struggle with, common issues. Uh, and so couples need to rejuvenate and the marriage enrichment retreats help, help these couples have a weekend away that they can relax, they can devote some time to each other. Uh, this is not therapy, it is marriage enrichment. Strong Bonds is the umbrella program in which three primary um, tracks are in that. One of them is marriage enrichment for couples, obviously. The second is a family wellness event in which the whole family can come uh, and participate. And then we have a single soldier retreat, which we've been conducting for this last year. And the single soldier retreat emphasizes how to have healthy relationships whether someone is in a relationship or they're thinking about uh, being in a relationship. And so it has a relational oriented basis, which is why we do it as, as, uh, as a chaplains. We care about the single soldier. and We know that many folks get into relationships and we want to help them evaluate those relationships. You can always make it better. There's always some level to get yes. better. There have been some really major issues that have been uncovered that have been really kind of fun to work through. And did I mention they do these in great locations? <laughs> just take your wine. The Strong Bonds program is just one of the many services the Texas Military Forces provides its more than 25,000 service members and their families, all available through the Joint Family Support Services Office. I was on my fifth deployment, second tour of Iraq. You know, I lived on very little money because I didn't need it over there. Your things are taken care of. The idea was for her to pay the bills with my checks and save the leftover money, you know, in the savings. And then when we get back, we, uh, you know, we could split it or talk about what's going on with our relationship. Well, you know, I get back and I was broke. <laughs> there was no money left. Nothing. And um, not only that, but I had no place to live. So I walked into the office here in Camp Mabry and I, I told them my dilemma and they helped me out. They, they you know, saved me from having to live in my car. They paid the first and I believe the second month rent and they put food in the, the house for me. They helped me, you know, make sure I wouldn't lose the place or, you know, I wouldn't lay on any bills until I can get the next paycheck from the transition over to civilian life. Uh, and then everything went smoothly from there. So it really helped me out a lot. And I, I really do appreciate them. They're definitely a blessing and uh, they're angels. <laughs> the Joint Family Support Services is always available to provide assistance, whether it's to get back on your feet or better your career. We're here to help. I'm a construction project engineer. I actually have the opportunity to make the connection between the contractor and the user entity. I use my engineering skills that I learned in the Army and I utilize all those skills as I perform this position. My current project is the student dormitories for the METC program. Its value is $33 million. It houses up to 1,200 students. At the end of my second deployment in 2008, I finished my um, engineering management degree from Newark College of Engineering back in New Jersey. And um, after graduation, I moved to Texas. Um, I checked into a guard unit uh, at the HHC IBCT 
and that was the same Sandage Armory that the JSIP program was um, running their pilot. They promised that they could help me write a resume, prepare for interviews, and um, distribute my resume so that I would be in optimum position to get a um, job interview and hopefully a position offer. I signed up for the program in late March, and by mid-May, I was employed. The construction phase is definitely my favorite part. Watching something go from the hole in the ground or bare ground all the way to a finished building where people actually live. I love my job. Friends and family play a major role in the lives of our service members. Joint Family Support Services also offers education assistance, tax and legal help, retirement advice, and even awesome summer camps for our youth. Yeah, we had one girl, she was talking about uh, one day at school when she was taking her math test and she stopped and started thinking, I wonder if my dad's being shot at right now or what he's doing over there and what kind of danger he's in. And she quickly refocused and said, wait a minute, wait a minute, I gotta, I gotta focus, I'm, a, I'm taking a math test right now. But as soon as she got out of the math test, she called one of her camp friends and talked to them a little bit and they worked it out between the two of them. Kids serve their country same as their parents do. Anytime a parent moves away or goes off on deployment, the kid picks up a lot of the extra slack. So what we're trying to do is offer them a little support, give them a little fun, and that's what this camp is all about. When my husband and I first got married, like I said, it was three weeks later that he left and he kept telling me, there's this thing called FRG and I really want you to be part of it while I'm gone, because they were getting ready to deploy. And I didn't, I didn't know what it was. That was the part that I was hesitant about, it's because you don't know. I walked in not having any idea of what this was. And it was, it, was, it was better than what I imagined, that it wasn't just a group to gossip or something, that it was a group that understood exactly what I was going through. And now I understand what family readiness group means. I've been in the Guard for six years, um, went to Iraq, and I need to, I want to start going to school. Yeah, for years I've been, you know, debating on, you know, when I'm going to go to school. Um, and I sat on my butt for five years. I walked in there, she told me uh, what I was uh, eligible for. I'm eligible for the GI Bill, uh, Hazelwood Act, also federal and state tuition assistance. Ms. Hill helped me out uh, to figure out how to go to college and what to do. And like I said, I was worried about the money and I'm not worried about it anymore. I'm not worried about how my college is gonna be paid for, so I'm happy now. <laughs> We deploy as rapid as any active duty unit. So there's a lot of soldiers who do not get to do their taxes before they leave. So what we do at first is we bring them in and have them do a power of attorney for their spouses so that we are able to prepare their taxes while they're away. Everyone says they receive their return in about two weeks. So we're about as fast as any H&R Block, um, any American Tax uh, Center, and yet it's free. We're not charging all the fees. It's available to all service members as well as the retired ones. As well, and DOD civilians, we help them out as well, and their dependents. The biggest thing is our service members need to be aware is that we are there for them, and it's not just wills and powers of attorneys. We do so much more. We do try to assist you with every legal action that you bring into our office, and if we can't assist you, we get you to the right people. I've been in, in the National Guard since uh, 1987 uh, with active duty. Uh, I will retire with uh, pretty close to 28 years. At times can be scary because you don't know what's up ahead of you and where do I go from here. And I've, I've gotten a lot of good uh, information from them. They've, they've, uh, and they've been real helpful. And, and uh, again, telling me what kind of benefits I will get and where I can, uh, what, what I can expect after I, after I retire.